All right, I'm out here. Um, this is a piece of property that the original landowner, down about half a mile down that way, owns this piece of property too. Now this barn here was built in the 60s, but the farm across the street was built in the early 1800s. And uh, I've never been in this field before. Uh, basically all I'm going to do is just head straight out across it up to that hill which uh, that, that hill is the highest point around here for probably about two miles so it's a good vantage point for things so people might have been up there looking for stuff might have been some civil war activity I don't know but I do know that this area is actually uh, has some colonial history because of all the buttons and everything I found down the road so we'll just uh, take a look and uh, see what we can find. I'll be back with my first one. All right, so Thanks. if you're in the Canslaw, that other field I was on about a half a mile up that way is the place to be. So I decided to come out here and do my hand at this. I put the bigger coil on, uh, the 8x11, and I was heading out through the field here to actually get up here. The sorghum was here. And it's it's hateful. If if you hate cornfields, don't try a sorghum field because it's worse. This stuff is like I don't know how to describe it. It's, at least corn stalks break when you kick them, so you can get a better signal. So I'm out here and I came across the field, and I got a really good signal. It was um, 81, and I just pulled it out from the bottom of this hole here, and I started looking around. And now I can't see it anymore, but I did see it here. Um, I left it in the in the clump of dirt so I could show you when I pulled out. It looks like silver, and now I can't find it anymore. It's oh, there it is, right there. So that's the edge of something, and I'm getting ready to pull it out right now to see what that is. It's definitely silver. Um, <clears throat> not sure what it is yet, and I, and I'm not going to rub it. So I'll uh, I'll try to get a picture of it later after I clean it off here with a brush. But there it is. It's definitely an older silver. Um, I can just tell by the design on it. So let me get a uh, stop on this, and then I'll. Uh, I'll come back and show you what it is after I. Uh, clean so there it, it is, bit. cleaned up. It is a 1905 Barber Dime, and it's in pretty good shape. So here's the back, and if I can control the camera here a little bit, show you the back here. Let me get it focused there, and it is an S. So, yeah, really good shape. Hardly worn at all. So, I'll be back with my next one. Okay, oh. next target. It was a super choppy signal. Um, but it, it kept bouncing up to like 70. So, I dug down. I dug over here first. Um, kind of mispinpointed there. Um, so, it was actually on the side of the hole here and I got it out. Um, and then, I pinpointed it into this little piece of dirt and if I can get it to focus here you can see a little bit of green there I'm guessing colonial cuff button this is the area I've been finding all my colonial items so let's break it open here and see what we got yep would be a colonial cuff button. Real tiny. So, uh, usually don't find any designs on them here, so let me take a look. I usually rub these anyway. Yeah, that's what it is. The um, shank's gone. I can see a little bit of writing in there, but it's going to be a while before I can actually uh, clean it up and see if there's anything on there. But, yep. Colonial flat. Cool. Alright, I'm, right, I'm back. Um, not six inches from where I dug that 
small colonial flat, I started to dig this out. And I got a pretty good signal. It was like 73, so really sharp and clean. Um, so I started to dig, and I'm sure you can already see it there, sitting on the end of my shovel. So, and it's, it's a bigger one. Yeah. It looks like a button, but I'm not sure, so. If you hold on here, I'll pull it out there. It's It's got an odd shape to it, though. Yeah. Take a look at that. It looks like a button. Missing the shank, so. That's what it is. I don't see any design on it or anything. It is all thin. I guess that's where the shank was. Yeah, it might be smushed there a little bit. I mean, um, like I said, I clean these off. They usually don't have any designs on them. And... Yeah, that's the shank. Smushed. Smushed down on there. Rope then. Anyway. Let's see. Clean it up here a little bit more and I'll let you take a look at it later. All right, um, so this is, um, this field was corn, and they got the, um, the winter plant in here for cover, uh, but I just, I wanted to show out and point some things out here, like, like when you're out in the field, if, if you're not sure there was anything out in the field, uh, the best thing to do is to take a walk and a hike out through and look for things that would be in the ground, or on top of the ground, that would give you an idea that there was some activity here. And um, so I was I was walking along here metal detecting over there. You can see where I really dug up those two buttons, the last buttons. But I want to show you some one of the things you can look for at when you're out in the field. And if you look here at the front of my shovel, this is pottery. This is pottery. And this is all over some, I, I don't know what kind of pottery it is. I'm not an expert. But this is a sign that there was activity here. And there is no other signs here out here in this field of a home site or anything except for pottery and buttons and of course uh, that coin uh, the large sense I've found here over the past few hunts uh, from the early 1800s but here's a piece of pottery I don't, I don't know what this dates or what kind of pottery it is but you can go out here in these fields and, and look and find pieces of pottery or porcelain um, sometimes some glass or real thick glass green blue um, I've even found black glass before but these are the things you look for out in the field uh, for activity. But I just I thought I'd show you that so you can get an idea of uh, what I'm looking at out here in the field and, and how I came across these things. But anyway, I'll be All back right, with my next one. Here farm. I am again. Um, found another one. See how deep this was. Um, here's my pen pointer. There's still stuff down in there. Um, mostly iron I found a lot of iron but this was a screamer and right there it was it is a little like musket ball and it's still got the sprue on the top of it see that so that was down a good five six inches um, it's been raining a lot here lately so there's a lot of signals today um, I haven't found much trash, which is good. I'm really learning my Garrett AT Pro here. Uh, so I'm really able to discern whether or not it's a, an acceptable target. Except on that other field up there. Because if you like can slaw, you can go up there and dig all you want. Um, tons of it. But anyway, so there's that little piece of uh, lead. And it's still got the mold mark on it. it hasn't even been cut off. But anyway, I'll be back with my next one. Alright, so it's been a... About 15 minutes since my last signal and got a really good signal here. Um, a little choppy but deep. Um, I just dug this from the bottom of the hole. I pulled it up and then I see it on my shovel now. So let's take a look. Uh, I've seen what it was already. It's a thimble. Check that out. Pretty neat. Um, I don't know. If it's missing the top, or it didn't have one to begin with, I don't know. Um, found a couple thimbles out here in this area before. My buddy's found one, and then I found one. 
Um, but that's the third one to come out of here. But yeah, there it is, a thimble. Cool. All right, I'm back. Um, this was another choppy signal. I mean, all my signals have been really deep. And I'm going to show you. Um, here's my shovel I use. I don't use anything. I got this at Lowe's. I think it was like 13 bucks or something. And uh, I ground that piece off because it kept getting caught in my sheath and I couldn't pull it out because I keep it behind me on my on my uh, pouch. So, but anyway, this was a really deep signal and I started poking around and you can see it way down there. So I'm going to give you an idea how deep I'm digging these signals. So if I go to there, um, eight inches to... Well, I'm not even. I'm not going to put my shovel right on the relic, um, but you can see um, I'm right to here, which is about how far down I'm digging. Let's see here. Yeah, eight inches. So let's take a look. It's way down in there. See it on the side of the hole. So it's green. I'm not sure what it is. It might be just a piece of brass, but it kind of looks round. So I'm thinking it's a little button. Um, let's pull it out. Man, it's really in there. Something bigger than a buckle, or a buckle, a button. It's big. It's green. Man, I can't get that. I uh, hate to do this one-handed. So let's put the shovel in way over here. So I can get that out top of it popped off there still can't get to it all that green coming out of there something big something big and green I don't know what that is um it sure is way down in there and I can't get it out let me um let me come back to this I'm gonna dig over here now um to get it out because it seems like it's big and if it's if it's like a shoe buckle or something, I don't want to yank it out of there and bend it, so I'll be right All right, back. so like I said, I dug more of the dirt off the top of it, and now I can see the whole thing down there. And I'm glad I didn't pull because it does look like part of a frame off a buckle. Ah, uh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look how it left an imprint down in there on the ground. So, look at that. Nice. Look at that design on there. Isn't that cool? Isn't that neat? And the thing is, is the rest of it's out here somewhere. <laughs> so I gotta find it. But it's just kind of like a straight line pattern. But I'm glad I didn't yank that out of there. I, I would have bent it for sure, and then I would have been upset. So I'm glad I took my time. Anyway, I'll be back with my next one. Okay. I stopped doing live digs, but I got a great signal here, so I figured I'd show you what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing on the screen. Um, just to give you an idea, these signals are usually deep, and they're not giving a readout that you would expect. Um, some of them are 40s, 50s, I mean, I would dig those anyway, but what I'm pulling out of the ground isn't necessarily what I would expect to see on the screen, because, I mean, I've seen... 70s and stuff on buttons and large scents and things like that. But you can almost hear how choppy that is. And the signals. sound of it. So I'm going to dig it.
Well, cleans up the sound a little bit. I got it out of the hole that time, so let's see. There it is. And what do we have? Little, like round button. Um, sort of open in the back. Probably had like a little shank that fed. Yeah, it's still in there a little bit. But. I don't see anything on it. It's just a brass little delicate button but kind of cool be back with my next one all right so it's been a little while i just talked to the land earner he's driving off there in the truck right now um he always stops by and hangs out for a little bit so we had a little chat and uh he actually got to see me dig this up it was down there pretty good um but it uh, looks like a broken uh, part of a yeah, it's a dandy button. You can see where it popped out there. I was man, my pinpointing is really bad. It was it was up over here, off the side of the hole. You can see how I dug here, but it was right over here on the side. Um, see a little bit, just pulled out there. See the green still left on the dirt. How, I mean, how long has that been in the ground? Two hundred years. But that's part of a dandy button. Um, real big. I might even have the other half of this at the house. Um, so, but there it is. Actually, that looks like it might have a design on it or something. If I could keep the camera on it. Um, get the focus here. So, yeah, it's actually got an X in it or something. Sure does. Look at that. That's kind of neat. It's got like an X in it. Let me put that on there. It's just like a cut piece of copper or something. Isn't that wild? Okay. I'll be back with my next pond. So here's my roundup. I didn't do too bad today. Um, as you can see, I got um, this part of a brass buckle it's actually pretty thick I wish I could have found the rest of it today but that's about it <clears throat> and a little um, musket ball that um, it's still got the sprue on it it's kind of neat too um, a little cuff button uh, it does have a back mark on it and it just says super fine rich color on the back little tiny piece and we got a, uh, a pewter button it's really falling apart very delicate usually i only find pieces of these things um, and then i got this little like dress button it's got it's like a two-piece small uh, thimble it turned out pretty cool it's a little bent on the end it's got some neat detail around the edges and stuff um, I don't think it ever had a top so, but that's that kind of pretty neat uh, another button with, um, it's got the shank but it's been pretty smushed so, that's pretty neat this um, that dandy button it's got like a carving in it. It almost looks like um could be a cross or a T. But it's a button alright because I can see actually where the shank was attached at one time. Probably brazed on there. But it's gone now. And that's on there. Found quite a probably about ten dandy buttons out there total. And then um this is actually my first silver coin I ever found with the AT Pro. It's a 1905 and it does have the uh, S mint mark down there at the bottom. 
I don't know how close I can get without it. Maybe I could zoom in here a little bit. Try. Yeah, it's, it's just not going to focus very well. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, that's first silver coin I ever found with the AT Pro. So it all turned out really nice. It's a really decent shape. Yeah, there's the roundup. Thanks for watching.